Welcome back friends with more Bluey. Today we're watching season 2, episodes 37 through 39. Last time we had swim school where everybody learned when to dob, when not to dob, and they did some fancy ninja kicks. Then we met Winnie and Fido, Bluey and Bandit both made new friends, it was very sweet. And finally, Postman and Grounds Lava, very cute as well. Enjoying the heck out of season 2, people were definitely right, it's better than season 1. I've heard actually season 3 is better than season 1 as well, but I'm not sure if I've heard comparisons between seasons 2 and 3, so we'll see. Alright, full reaction is going to be on Patreon, leave a like, we got a new background here with them on the camping trip. Uh, leave a like and let's get started. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -da. Mom! Ba -ba -ba -da -da -da. <laughs> was nice and quiet in here. Not anymore. <laughs> oh man. Kids, kids, come on, you're too noisy. Aww. Playing. Ooh, I know the best game ever. What? The quiet game. How long you can go without making a single noise? Ooh, okay. That's not a quiet. That's not a game. <laughs> uh, sign language would be helpful at this point. Bandit, you're a genius. Buy a birthday present for Muffin. Oh, Madge. Trixie's Match. gonna get a moonlight. Don't get one she's already got, okay? Or she'll go bananas. <laughs> Why do I know which one she's already got? Kids, <sighs> no. Don't you girls. See? That's did, 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 did. Go. The music Play. along with their nods. Kids? Ice cream. Huh? Can't hear anything. All right, well, if you change your mind, just speak up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Good luck on your first day of work, Alfie. Alfie. Great. How do you know I won't mess it all up? Aww. Kids. Moon... Oh, yeah. You're Moonbeam. The quiet I don't know. Okay, boop. I pause the game so you can tell me what toy Muffin wants. No, uh uh. Oh, at least. <laughs> uh, okay. Charades. Moon. Yes, I need Moon. Uh, moon. Light. No, moon ceiling. Moon sprinkler? Hey, mate, you got a toy called a moon sprinkler? Uh, no. I don't know, sorry. Moon headlight. Moon light. Moonlight. Moonlight. Horse. <laughs> um, horse. No, Unicorn. Lines. Where are the moonlight unicorns? <laughs> oh. There's thousands of them. How do you know which one? Oh my different. god. Do you know which one Muffin wants? <laughs> Can you tell me? No, you can't tell me. <laughs> Point at it. Quiet game isn't actually a real game. I made it up because your kids were too noisy. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm a dodgy dad. Bramble hop. <laughs> Bramble hop. Are you sure it'll do? What's the worst that can happen? Okay, your muffin. Got it. <laughs> Throw a birthday. fit. Throw a fit. Present. Bramble hop. No. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. oh, that's not good. Uh, writing. Writing bird. Book. Book bird. Book, book chicken. Book yes. bird. No. no. Not book chicken. Is it chicken hands? Oh, chicken man. hands. Why don't you just ask them? Look, Alfie, you'll understand one day. Can you help me? <laughs> He's gonna be yes, helpful. I can help you. Good man, Alfie. It's not what you're writing, it's what you're writing with. <gasps> Pencil? Pen. Pen. Yeah! Yeah! Come on, Alfie. That's not squawking, that's... Breathing fire. Breathing fire. <gasps> Pen dragon. Pen dragon! Yay! <gasps> we got it! She spoke! Alfie, you rock star! Aww. Well, he's a legend. Yeah! <laughs> Aww. Ooh, Alfie's dope. Oh, so loud. How's much? Wow, it's loud in here. <laughs> we like it loud. Maybe just uh, a little quieter. It's music to my ears. Aww. Uh, quiet game. <laughs> so now that it's later in the day and the lighting in this room has changed, Janet's towel is now getting cancelled out by the green screen color key. And what I'm going to do is... This little green rectangle here, I'm just going to put it behind me. Yep, and that will be a good fix for now. But yeah, I think other than in fairies, this is as close to yelling as Bandit has ever gotten. It's understandable to want some peace and quiet, even if you do love the sound of your kids playing and having fun most of the time. It's like everybody needs quiet time. I've never had my own room for an extended period of time, and so most of the time I'm just like, can I just be left alone for like a little while? It's really frustrating, but... Uh, for them, it's a trade-off you make when you have kids, because kids are gonna be kids. You can trick them into being quiet by playing the quiet game, and I don't think it necessarily makes Bandit a dodgy dad. Like, he goes 
out of his way to be a great dad all the time, if he needs quiet to relax from working a job and raising children, I get it. Whether he can expect to get that quiet is another thing entirely. And Chili said Madge rang in sick so she had to go to work. I wonder if Chili named her Granny Sona after this Madge character, because we saw Chili Granny in that Trains episode for a little bit and she was named Madge. That was very cute. But yeah, she needs Bandit to pick up a toy for Muffin's birthday, and Bandit... He always finds ways to make things more difficult for himself because the moment they start being quiet, he actually needs them to speak up. And yet the kids at first have fun communicating with each other without speaking, and then Dad needs them to figure out what toy to get for Muffin. Bingo acting, acting out what Muffin would do if she got a toy was great. And the music that matched up with Bluey and Bingo's quiet time was awesome as well. The music did like little trills to match their nodding at one point. Brilliant, brilliant stuff. And yeah, Charades was a lot of fun as well. But Alfie, what a rock star. His first day of work and he gets a glowing customer review. I hope that doesn't give him the wrong sense about working retail because it can be an absolute nightmare. It's probably all downhill from here, honestly. But yeah, he was earnest and happy to help though. We'd love to see him around again. But speaking of char seeing characters again, there were a lot of little cameos in the back of this episode. I picked up on Winton's dad. I accidentally could just call him Winton. Um, and he was out with a dog that was not a bulldog. Is that a reference to an interbreed uh, relationship? Or maybe they're just friends? And I think he's also giving money or food to a homeless dog too. And yeah, do you think they're called strays in the Bluey universe? I'm not entirely sure. And I also thought I saw Jack's dad with either Jack or his sister at the toy store, but it might have been Jack's mom. I'm not entirely sure. And then, yes, yeah, Snickers' mom. Uh, I feel like we've rarely seen her. I remember seeing her in Shadowlands, and I think that's that's all I can recall, at least. And we also saw the guy who was playing drums with his thongs in dance mode. Uh, he was buying ice cream at this point. So yeah, a bunch of recurring characters just in the background. Someday, when I have all the time in the world, I'm just going to go back and be really intense about this and like tra track reappearances of all the background characters. But yeah, fun, awesome, wholesome episode. Let's go on to episode 38. Bum, 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 ba -da -da -dum. <laughs> this is just so full of joy. What? Oh, I definitely want that one. Kids, can you not leave all your stuff everywhere? All the way on the left, is that Sans? Oh my god. Biscuits. 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 You kids have got too many toys. What? We've hardly got any. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's it. We're having a chuck out. A chuck out? It's all going to needy kids. But we're needy kids. Uh -huh. You're spoiled kids. <laughs> no, we're not. Chuck. <laughs> oh, that, that squeal. <laughs> Chili. Oh, we're off to a great <laughs> Sparkle Hound. Oh boy. Uh, it, they momentarily make it into the chuck pile okay, before making so it out. In the key basket is All of everything. Them. He's special. Well, you better show me he's special if you want to keep him. Okay. You got to show us all of them are special. You'll probably regret that. Probably. <laughs> I'll just take my seat. Hey. <laughs> that monkey's in my chair. It's <sighs> You've been replaced. Where am I supposed to sit? Monkey's dad now. Winton's dad. And... <laughs> Red light! Aww. Jelly! Aw, oh, come here, sweetheart. <laughs> Can you please help me? Huh? How's my little monkey man? Oh, hey, damn. That's my wife. You left me for a monkey? <laughs> I'm sorry. In jocks. Just... Well, what am I supposed to do? Hit rocks. Pound sand. Yes, good idea. You can be his monkey butler. Yes, sir. He's getting ideas. <laughs> They're probably going to regret that. You're probably going to regret that. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Ah. Uh, Jogs doesn't want bones on his bed. His bed? His I bed. His bed. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Outrageous. Outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> they kicked out the kids. Aren't you being a little unfair, <sighs> my sweet monkey man? Kick her out too. <laughs> I was joking. I thought you loved me. <laughs> it's very rude. Uh, very rude. Well, it's kind of our fault. Uh, the Jar Jar Binks. How rude. What does spoiled mean? It's a bit hard to explain. Give what him everything he wants. You're chucking all our toys. I'm not. He is. He's gone bananas. <laughs> bananas. He doesn't want any toys in this house. Nit. <laughs> he actually looks a bit bored. How could he be bored? When you get yeah, everything you want. He, he says he doesn't want everything he wants anymore. Mm. Oh, when you have everything you want... Um, hey, listen, Mom. 
Hmm, yes, please, spell out the, the lesson for us. <laughs> oh. Hmm. <laughs> what do you want to Aww. do? Let's try this again, kids. <laughs> Snow spot. Chuck. Oh. Chuck me too. Chuck. Aww. <gasps> it's a monkey! Wearing jocks! I love him! And he loves you. So the lesson is, if everything's special, nothing is, but every episode of Bluey is special! Luckily for us, we don't have to check any of them, unless you watch on Disney+, Plus, apparently, because I've heard there's an upcoming episode that just isn't available on there at all. Absolutely blasphemous. They've strayed too far from the light of dog. Okay, I was just making a dog god joke, but in the Bluey universe, dogs who are religious and believe that God made them in their image actually do believe in a dog god. Anyway... Uh, the lesson is well taken, not everything can be special, and it's best to give those toys to somebody who will cherish them more. And the message kind of mirrors the one we saw in the dump when Bandit was recycling the draw drawings that Bluey did. It becomes new paper for other kids to draw on. And yeah, that final scene where the kid in the hospital gets Mr. Monkey Jocks is just really, really sweet. And I guess we've never really talked about the healers and their socioeconomic status, but Bandit and Chili must make a lot to afford a place like that. And their kids have so many toys. Glad that their parents are teaching them not to be spoiled and also to think of how they can help others. Their toys will have happier homes, but also they'll be making other kids happy as well. I hope that point is really driven in for them. This episode though is just so funny. Mr. Monkey Jocks replacing Dad and Bandit having to eat on the floor and Chili leaving Bandit to become Mrs. Monkey Jocks. I really like the way this show writes its dialogue at times as well. It feels like tug of war sometimes, like Bandit saying he wants to see the kids actually treat Mr. Monkey Jocks special and Chili being like, you're probably gonna regret that. And then later when Bluey makes Bandit the monkey butler, Chili tells her that she's probably gonna regret that. And it's a back and forth that's really, really fun to watch. And yeah, Bandit kicking them all out of the house was just so funny. The music cuts and we see the door slammed in the kid's face. And then again with Chili, I thought you loved me. <laughs> it's just so, so good. And yeah, definitely spotted a Sans doll. I'll put it on screen here. Undertale feels like it's above the kid's age range, so who do we think is the gamer in the house? Chili or Bandit? Or was it a gift from somebody else? Or maybe it's just a reference an animator snuck in into the episode. Alright, on to episode 39! <laughs> Who's this? Intruder! Uncle Raz here! <laughs> How you doing, Bluey? I'm Bingo! Bluey? Really? Yeah, that's Bluey! <laughs> oh yeah, because he's blue. She's I a girl. girl! Oh yeah, yeah, I knew that. <laughs> oh, I kind of love him already. Hello, Frisky! Hey, girls! Ooh. Frisky? This is Uncle Rag. Hi. Oh. Hi. Oh. Didn't you fall in the pool at the wedding? Probably. Frisky, <laughs> Probably, he doesn't remember. Oh, that's fine. Um. I'll just go. No, not go. Both babysit. Did Chili oh, set well, them up? As long as it's okay with Uncle Is Rad. she setting them up oh, together? Hooray! Hooray! This, you just need to get to know us better. I know. Why don't we play 20 questions? Yeah! Yeah! What's 20 questions? Well... She cheered and she didn't know. Go. Why don't you have a wife? Whoa. Well, that got personal no, fast. Why don't you have Frisky, a wife? you'll be your wife. Uh, why have you only got three friends? Back to him. Just Why passing it back and forth. See you at Christmas? Because I work <laughs> on an oil rig. Why is your hair so pretty? I'm, I'm a milk, milk shampoo. shampoo. They're made for Do each other. Have children? Yes. That glance. Does Bosco be the daddy. Um. No. Bosco. Bosco and I aren't friends anymore. Oh. Who's Bosco? No one. Next question. Rattle be your daddy. Love. I mean, no, the no. daddy. But true love is forever. Get him. <laughs> well. Uh, Oof. Let's play in the backyard. Yeah. Distraction. Can you play Exact same game oh my god, I love this episode. Okay. Aww. That's very cute. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, she pounced on him. This is weird. Yeah, but before you know it, you get used to it. He's great with kids. Come and sit by the campfire. I'm trying. Oh. <laughs> Oh, the tail. No thanks. What? <laughs> she didn't like the look of him. Why, Why not? not? Well, his hair was a bit messy, <laughs> and he was a bit too muscly. You uh. know what I mean, kids? I didn't ask to be rescued. You'd rather stay here with the stinky dragon. I'm 
getting used to him. <laughs> okay. All Lock right. Him up. Wait. He rescued the princess. Only because he likes prince punching dragons. Tomorrow he'll be off in search of another princess. <laughs> this princess is hard to rescue. Oh. Uh, <laughs> wow. The end. The what? end. That is mm. mom and dad's stories. They get married in the end. Yeah, you two have to get married. Yes. Okay, fine. For the sake of the children, they get <laughs> married. The end. Yay. Night, night, Bingo. Did you have a good <laughs> Frisky, you won't watch oh, TV after I fall asleep. Was your last babysitter put down with Nana? Yes. And let me guess, you woke up and the TV was too late. Uh, yes. How can I know for sure it won't happen again? You, you can't. can't. You have to give it a go anyway. Or you'll be stuck in a tower with the stinky dragon forever. Oh, okay. nice. I'll give it a go. And you have to start That's dating again. I gotta stop stripping these two so hard. <laughs> the shampoo is great, but the conditioner, I don't rate the conditioner. Yeah, that's great to wake up to. You know, you can't get around with open follicles. Oh, what an awesome episode. Didn't even realize that Bandit had another brother. Does Chili have siblings? At the very least, we haven't heard about any Chili siblings. But yay, finally a ship I can get on board with, no pun intended. But seriously, how cool a story would this be? Rad and Frisky getting together because they're both babysitting kids, they already adore. And yeah, Chili's, you must not have gotten my message. Is this Chili shenanigans? Did she set the two of them up? If so, excellent execution on that plan, excellent poker face. And I like that Frisky vaguely remembers Rad falling into a pool and he's just like, probably. Like he doesn't remember, but it sounds like something he'd do. And I want to touch really quick on the naming conventions in the show. Bluey's named Bluey because he's blue. I'm a girl. Oh, yeah, yeah, I knew that. Stripe is named Stripe because he has a stripe through his abdomen. The black in Bandit's coat makes it look like he's wearing a Bandit mask. And obviously, Mum is so hot, and that's why she's named Chili. I am not a furry. <laughs> but is Rad named Rad because his coat is so wavy? And it's actually in the colors of, like, sand and water on the beach. He's, like... He's colored like a totally rad surfer dude. That's pretty darn funny to me. Playing 20 questions was really fun. Bingo was so excited and had her hands raised in the air. And that continued till the next scene before she realized that she doesn't know what 20 questions is. And yeah, those questions got personal fast. Kids don't really have a uh, filter and don't know what is and isn't okay to ask, I guess. Anyway, I'm curious about how much kids pick up on chemistry. Because first of all, that pause between uh, Rad and Frisky before they say hi, and then the tone of the highs, and the glances they share throughout the night uh, when they're asking personal questions by Blue and Bingo, especially, do you want kids? And of course, it's funny when they pass attention to the other person when it gets too personal for them, but then Rad takes the attention off of her when she gets sad about Bosco. Just, let's go play outside. So that was really nice of him. And Frisky is Frisky? She just yoinked the flashlight out of Rad's pocket? Where was he keeping it? it? Is it just in a clump of fur? Honestly, it looked like she pulled it out of his butt. And look at his dang face, he looks so scandalized. And then when they play Torch Mouse, she just straight up jumps him. And yeah, the storyline afterward was really sweet as well. She's playing hard to get as the princess. Really like the way the storytelling has so many layers with a princess having to give it a shot, or she'd be stuck in the tower with a stinky dragon forever. It's also about how Bluey needs to be willing to give new things a shot, uh, with regards to the babysitter put down. And it's also about her relationship with Bosco, talking about good princes and bad princes, and how maybe she needs to be open to the possibility of a new prince. And yeah, I'm shipping these two way too much, I need to stop, but I don't know, the, the show is clearly setting it up. They get along great and are so great with the kids that we love. It'd just be perfect. And yeah, Bluey and Bingo can be the ring bearer and the flower girl. It'd be like horsey wedding all over again, but actually real. I hope we see them again soon, though, Frisky and Rad. Uh, I need details on how things are going between them. Really satisfying last episode for the day, though. We found out why Bluey's afraid of babysitter put down, but that's behind her now. I have to imagine it'll be a great memory for her being there at the start of Rad and Frisky's relationship. Anyway, thanks for watching, friends. Full reactions are on Patreon in the link in the description below. We're four weeks ahead over there as well. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time with more. Bye, friends.